Let's practice some text functions. We begin with left. Imagine we have a name Bob Smith. If I click here and I type in equals left bracket and the text being Bob Smith, so I'm going to click here on the cell, comma, the number of characters I want from the left. If I type in three and bracket, press enter, you can see that I get the, the first three letters from the left. Press enter. We get the word Bob, B-O-B. -B. Now if I were to retype this, equals left this text here in A3, comma, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I were to type in six, I would get the first six letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, where space is considered a character. <clears throat> Let's try right equals right, and let's try this being the, the text, comma, the number of characters, one, two, three, four, five. So we have five characters, and I'm going to press enter, and we have the word Smith. Five characters from the right. Now let's try the, the, the mid function. Let's try A, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, and I'm going to type in equals mid bracket, this being the text, and I want <clears throat> the uh, starting number to be, say, 2, and the number of characters to be 3. So let's see what happens. So we start at position 2. This is A, B, so that's 1, 2. So we start at position 2, and we chose 3 three characters. We wanted to have uh, three characters long being the result. So let's try it again. Equals mid, this being my text. This time I'm going to start at position, we'll say four, and I want two characters. So can you guess the result? One, two, three, four is my starting point, and I want two characters long. One, two, which is D, E. So let me try it again, equals mid, this being my text. I want to start at position 1, and I want 4 characters long. Press enter, and you can see that the mid function is pretty flexible. It can even give you the result similar to other functions such as left. Let's try the find function now. Equals find, we want to find a space. There's a space here somewhere within this text here, A3, and I'm going to press enter. So it found a space in position 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's where the space is. Now how is this find function useful for finding uh, the uh, working with other functions? So previously when we wanted to find the first name here, we typed in equals left, and this being the text, comma, we knew the answer was 3. But what if we don't know how long each person's name is? We want Excel to automatically figure it out for us. We can't assume that the first person's name is 3 characters long. This is where, instead of the typing in the number 3, we can use the find function. So what we're going to do here is we're going to type in find. We're going to search for a space within double quotes within what text? Within this same text. So this these red brackets here, the find function here, this represents the number three. But we have a little bit of a problem here which we'll see in just a sec. So this is pretty close. If I press enter, we get the word Bob which we success because we successfully found the space. Now secretly we we have a little bit of an error here. If I go back up to the formula bar and I type in the ampersand, this here is going to add the result with, and I'm going to just put within double quotes, blah. Okay, so here, if I press enter, you can see that because the result was Bob, and I use the ampersand symbol which, which uh, concatenates or adds the text blah to the end, we see that we're adding on the extra space. So if we don't want to add on the extra space, let's just modify this function here a little bit. So instead of uh, returning the position 
find a space, we want to find the position of the space minus 1. This find function here will return 4, the number 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's where the space is. But if you only want the first three characters and you don't want the space, you'll have to subtract 1. So right after the red bracket, I'm going to type in minus 1. And now press enter. So you can see here that we successfully ripped out the first word based on finding that space. And if I were to get rid of this addition here and press enter, we have successfully clean, cleanly ripped off the first name. Excellent.